time has arrived and I call the meeting of the City Council to order for today, February 25th. Please rise and salute our beautiful flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Council Monaghan, welcome. I haven't seen you since Christ was in junior high. Uh, Councilors, just before, just before we begin our meeting here, just a, a quick um, info for you. I was told by the uh, by the mayor the other day that the city's website is in the process of being redone and rejuvenated, and uh, it's going to look beautiful, from what I was told. And um, but there's a there's also a problem with some. Um, missing bios for some members of our esteemed body here. And Council Monaghan, you are, your beautiful mug has not been taken according to uh, the mayor. So if you uh, could, uh, it, would be, it would be nice so that we can, um, we can actually uh, have a brand spanking new website for, uh, for our body. Also, Next week, I'm looking to see if possibly we're not going to have a finance committee meeting. One, we actually only have three items that will be referred to finance. And two, this room will not be available to us next week. And which would mean that we would have to find another location to go to. But if we can kind of hold off and perhaps not have a finance committee meeting, we can, we can transfer whatever items we have to into the next finance committee meeting, we can have uh, a week off and not have to necessarily be here, unless you folks are objected to this. If not, Mr. Clerk, item number one. The acceptance of the minutes of February 11, 2019 City Council meeting. That will be accepted and placed on file. <coughs> we have the appointments in accordance with the Mr. revised. Uh, Councilor Lanier. If I might, Mr. President, I'd like to take items two, three, and four collectively, and we suspend the rules and act on them this, this evening after the clerk has read them. The motion has been made to take items two, three, and four uh, collectively under the suspension of rule. First, we're going to take a vote to take them collectively. All those in favor of taking it collectively? So we shall. And now we're going to make a mo you're going to make a motion that we suspend act on, suspend the rule and act upon them tonight. After the clerk reads them, yes. Second. Uh, um, a motion has been properly made and properly second to take items two, three, and four under the suspension of rule and act on them tonight. Motion. On the motion, sir. Mr. President, I don't have any objection per se, but usually it's the protocol to get a copy of the resume, and, and I yeah. do not. Mr. Conant, of course, we know. I do not know the individual number three. I suspect he's ready, willing, and able to serve, but we don't have a resume. Yeah. There was a resume sent yeah. out. I didn't get one. Okay. I uh, I, uh, Councilor, I know Manny Santeo pretty okay. well. He actually is one of the managers for Laz Parking in Boston. Okay. He's a Brockton okay. resident from Ward 4, and I actually asked the mayor to appoint him to that board only because he actually, very different from what we've seen in the past, he's actually somebody that has some background in that, in in that, that particular industry. field. Okay. So All right. I think you'd be ideal for us. And as a young man from this community uh, who's very vested in this community, I think it would be a win-win situation for Thanks us. For and that's why. Thank I, you, Mr. President. Thank you. In accordance with the revised auditors of the City of Brockton, Chapter 2, Section 2186, the mayor has reappointed Aileen Bartlett to the position of assistant solicitor full-time for a three-year term, effective February 8, 2019. Manuel Centerio, 29 Kenneth Avenue, Brockton, to the Brockton Parking Authority for a five-year term. John Condon of 45 Woodland Drive, Bridgewater, to the Brockton Retirement Board for a term of three years. All right, the question is on confirmation by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The appointments are confirmed. Mr. President, make a motion for reconsideration Second. in the hope it does not prevail. <laughs> <laughs> a motion for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail has been properly made and properly seconded. All those in favor of reconciliation? 
<laughs> reconsideration. He needs a reconciliation. Right? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. We have the report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of February 13, 2019. Accepted and placed on the Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of February 19, 2019. That will be accepted and placed on the file. a communication from the Mayor submitting a letter from John Marion of the Brockton Park and Authority Board submitting his resignation from the Brockton Park and Authority Board. That will be accepted and placed on fire. We have an ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton concerning the regulations and taxation of marijuana. Be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton. Article 3, General Regulations and Permitted Modifications, is hereby amended by adding the following section, 27-4, uh, paragraph 4, Adult Use of Marijuana. In Council, February 11, 2019, passed with third reading as amended. Note well, it was a recommendation from the Planning Board as follows. Operational requirements, restrictions and conditions. B would be odor control and ventilation. The exhaust system to control odor shall be designed by a licensed professional, air quality environmental engineer recognized by the Commonwealth. In Council, March 26, 2018, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Audits and Planning. Those reports were favorable as amended in audits and favorable in planning. In Council, December 27, 2018, motion to refer to planning was properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. In Council, January 28, 2019, hearing held. In City Council, February 11, 2019, Planning Board report was favorable with recommendations and passed to a third reading as amended by a hand vote. Councilor Borgard? Uh, yes, at this time I would like to uh, ask to review the buffer zone and subsection 6F and parenthesis 2 on uh, the, the feet, the distance, and I was hoping that we could look at uh, 750. The issue of the 750 again, because I realized that in ordinance it was three for 500 and two for 750. So at that time, I just well, Council, are you making that in a form of? Uh, I, I, yes, an an amendment, an amended. Is that in a form of a motion? Though? Yes. Mr. President, I'll second it for purposes of voting, and I also would like to, uh, on the motion, like to address it as chairman of the ordinance. All right, the uh, motion has been properly made and properly second uh, on the motion. Thank you, Mr. President. So, so councilors, the five of us that served last year on the ordinance committee, uh, again, we, we've edited this out for months. Um, ultimately, um, a motion was made um, for 750 feet relative to the buffer. At that time, prior to the vote, um, the city solicitor, Phil Nazarella, in his opinion, he opined that um, we are not allowed, we as municipality are not allowed to extend um, beyond the 500 as set by the state. There was quite a, uh, a lot of debate relative to that. Um, and ultimately, there was a motion made, um, uh, and it, it, it failed three, it, it actually prevailed three to two to stay at 500. Myself and Councilor Fowell had opted for the 750, but it failed. Um, with that being said, um, however this vote prevails, I'm going to make a motion to accept and incorporate into the final version the planning board recommendation because as you recall the planning board met prior, to, I mean after, post ordinance committee meeting. Um, they did come up with a very valuable, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, nuance that should be incorporated into that. So we'll address Council Beauregard and then if we could make that motion. Uh, well, the motion is, was properly made and properly second. All the, uh, on the motion, sir? On the motion. I just want to speak for a minute. We did spend quite a bit of time on this, and uh, um, I think our own, our own council was a, a little, possibly not in agreement with Mr. Nezrelli, but I think there's no question the way I have read the state regulation that we cannot Im expand that 500 feet. And I, I would ask that, that we... Uh, that we don't pass the to the 750. I understand the reasoning behind it, and I think it's valid. And and the problem with if we go to the 750 at this point, I believe it will kill the downtown territory. There is physically the two licenses that would be in the downtown area. We would probably have to go back to the drawing board and start over. 
um, which would be at this point a, a real issue. Again, I understand the the feeling behind the 750, uh, but I don't feel it really will make that much of a difference. And I think there is no question in reading the state mandate, the state law, that we are not allowed to expand beyond the 500 feet and could only reduce that distance in uh, in our ordinance. So I'll ask people to uh, vote for it the way it came out of the ordinance in that case. Thank you. Uh, First of all, I know how the vote's going to go, and that's fine. A lot, of, a lot of time and effort was put into the whole issue of marijuana, marijuana licensing, and business regulations. I, I will say, however, that at the Ordinance Committee level, it was brought up that the town of Dighton established a buffer zone far in excess of 500 feet. The town has to submit their zoning bylaws to the Attorney General's office for approval and those bylaws were approved. And those of us who argued for an increased buffer particularly noted that if it were illegal, if somehow something wasn't being done properly and didn't comport with the law, the Attorney General's office certainly would have flagged it. So I don't think Councilor Beauregard is out of line by suggesting this. I understand how, I always say, I respect how everyone votes. Uh, some of us do feel passionately about this, but uh, it is time to move on. It's time to move on. Uh, anybody else? Anyone else? All right, so we're going to take a vote on the, uh, on the amendment. All those in favor of supporting the amendment read by Councillor Beauregard? Uh, we can do it by hand. Yeah, both. Hand Just hand 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 hand. Hand. All those in favor? It, just on the motion. It, through you, Mr. President, are, are you are you talking across the board to set from the 500 to 750? Is that your motion? Well, that's, yes. Okay. That, that's how it was set. Yes. Okay. <coughs> so it's throughout the throughout the city. Oh, I wasn't worried about the existing. It was it was for the schools. So that, yes. F2. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. F2. That's what I had said before. Six F two. Okay. okay. That's what we're looking at. Sorry, I didn't mean to. The votes yes. on the amendment. All those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? The nays have it. All right, so now we are going to Council President, Sullivan. I'd like to make a motion to accept the, uh, the recommendations of the planning board and incorporate that. And I'm going to have to ask our legislative council. I'm not, I'm not privy to the actual subsection, um, but if we could incorporate. Um, 6B3, and I'd like to incorporate it as stated and recommended by the planning board with the verbiage uh, yeah, offered. Sense. That's the form of a motion. It would say that the exhaust system to control odor shall be designated by a licensed professional air quality environmental a design engineer recognized by the Commonwealth. Um, and it previously just said professional licensed engineer. This specifies professional air quality environmental engineer. A motion has been properly made and properly second. Uh, so, so we're going to make it. This is to accept the amendment. Yes. All those in favor of accepting the amendment. All those opposed. The amendment carries. So now we're going to go to the question on uh, ordination. As amended. As amended. Mm -hmm. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Darrencourt. Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's 11 in the affirmative. The ordinance <laughs> is ordained <laughs> as amended. Make a motion for reconsideration. Second. Second. Not prevail. A motion for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail has been properly made and properly second. All those in favor of reconsideration? <laughs> All those opposed? It fails. The petition of Daniel Dill, Jr. Of 530, 531 Summer Street, East Bridgewater, for a garage license located at 12 Riverside Avenue, Brockton, and City Clerk's Office, October 12, 2018. Hearing is signed for December 27, 2018 at 7 p.m. And Council December 27, 2018, postponed <coughs> until January 14, 2019, City Council meeting. And City Council January 14, 2019, hearing held, referred to public safety. That report was favorable. Councillor Nicastro. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I met with um, 
people on this matter this morning. And at this time, I'd like to make a motion to continue it. Second. To postpone it to the, to the next city council meeting in two weeks. Oh, it's not ready. The, the motion is, uh, council, is that, do you have anything you want to say? Motion's, yeah, made, yeah, motion's made to postpone. On the motion, can I just ask why? This was before public safety, correct? Yes. yes. And, and, uh, and I think um, the, the head of public safety, Councillor Neary, will attest. It wasn't quite ready. There were some loose ends. And at that time, Councillor Neary um, told uh, the applicants that if it's not, if all these things aren't cured, then we're going to postpone it. We won't hear it. And that is the case. I, I met with someone from the fire department and the police department along with the applicants this morning. It's not quite ready. Thank you. All right. The motion has been made to postpone. All those in favor, postpone it. All those opposed, we will postpone it until our next Two. city council meeting. Yes. On the 11th. Yes. Mr. Clerk. Okay, the question, okay. question is going to be on the next petition. Since, <coughs> since there is no garage license at that address, you cannot move on with a repair license. So we will need a motion to postpone that as well? make a motion to postpone that for the very same reason. Second. And I probably should have been on my game and, and made a motion to take them collectively. I apologize. Thank That's you. Okay. You know, we're brand new with this. We can yes. learn as we go along. A motion has been made to postpone. Uh, all those in favor of postponement? All those opposed? Postpone to March 11. Okay. Number 11, <clears throat> petition to George Brewster of 25 Main Street, Weymouth, Mass. DBA Brewster Ambulance Service for transfer of a garage license located at 1531 Main Street and City Clerk's Office October 22, 2018, hearing aside for January 14, 2019, and Council January 14, 2019, hearing held referred to public safety. That report was favorable. The question is on granting by a hand vote. All those in favor of granting? All those opposed? The petition is granted. Petition of George Brewster of 25 Main Street, Weymouth, Mass. DBA Brewster Ambulance Service for transfer of garage license located at 225 North Montella Street, Brockton, and clerk's office October 22nd, 2018. Hearing is signed for January 14th, 2019. And council January 14th, 2019. Hearing held, referred to public safety. That report was favorable. The question is on granting by a hand vote. All those in favor of granting? All those opposed? The petition is granted. The appointment of Jeffrey Ch uh, Channel of Chanel of 685 Oak Street, Unit 12, Brockton, for an alternate to a member of the Brockton License Commission for a three-year term and council February 11, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAP? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erick? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The appointment is confirmed. The reappointment of Eugene S. Merrill, 128 Hurley Terrace, Brockton, to the Brockton Redevelopment Authority for a five year term, in council February 11, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? No. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. De Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's 10 in the affirmative, 1 in the negative. The appointment is confirmed. Mr. President? Uh, Mr. Councilor Ineer. If I might, on item number 15, um, I don't think that we really need to have the clerk read the whole thing in its entirely. He loves reading that and stuff. And thought maybe we could waive it. We're either voting for it or we're not voting for it is the way I look at it. I mean, <laughs> why make him read it for, for the fourth time? We've heard enough about it. Thank <laughs> 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 Motion to waive the reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? Okay. Just uh, number 15, order that the sum of $7,800,000 is appropriate to pay costs to make improvements to the city's wastewater treatment facilities. The question is on passage to a third reading by a hand vote. All those in favor of a third reading. All those opposed? Okay. So a third reading it goes. 
Number 16. Total appropriation in the amount of $215,000, $200,000 from DPW Purchase of Services, $15,000 from the DPW Goods and Supplies to DPW Overtime, and Council February 11, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee uh, on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. De Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved to invite Rob May, Director of Planning, to inform the City Council as to what is transpiring with the Ganley Building, since we were told over a year ago that we would be seeing a demolition and new structure in place. Businesses located in the same city block have expressed serious concerns. In Council, February 11, 2019, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. President. Ms. Uh, would it be appropriate to take 17 through 20 collectively? They're all favorable and they're all resolved? No. Second. No. Uh, a motion has been made and second on the motion. Uh, no, I, I just think they, they shouldn't be taken collectively because they vary with different issues. And I just, I mean. Well, well so the motion has been made and second. Questions uh, on the motion. Uh, uh, yes. This is on, on the motion. All those in favor of taking them collectively? All those opposed? We're going to take them collectively. Resolved to invite Rob May, Director of Planning, to inform the City Council as to what is transpiring with the Historic Commission since the Audience Committee of 2018 had voted to create such an entity to protect our historic location through the, throughout the city. I wish to bring this before the Council since the primary advocate for our city's history, Carl Landerholm, is no longer with us, and I believe we should continue his work. Resolved to invite Dan Evans, current chair of the Proctor 21st Century Corporation, to inform the City Council as to what is transpiring with this organization since the departure of the Executive Director late in 2018. Resolved to invite the new Chief Financial Officer to come before a committee of this Council to enlighten us on any changes that be made in the operation of the CFO's office. Ordered that the city solicit. Oops, stop well, right there. Just that one. In city council, I got carried away yeah. with that, you know. In council, February 11, 2019, these were read to the committee on finance. The reports were favorable. Now the question is on adoption of items 17, 18, 19, and 20 uh, by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order, items 17, 18, 19, and 20 are adopted. Order, whoops, okay. Order, the city solicitor or his designee shall appear before a committee of the city council to provide all re relevant information on the city's criteria and process for review and approval of host community agreements. Two, copies of all host community agreements approved by the mayor prior to the date of this office be provided to the city clerk for distribution to the city council. Three, for host community agreements approved by the mayor or any other proper person or entity, after this date of this order, a copy of this agreement or agreements shall be forwarded to the city clerk within seven days of approval. All agreements shall be made available for inspection in the office of the city clerk by any person with proper notice at least 24 hours in advance of such inspection. And Council, February 11, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The President, uh, Council follow. Just uh, on this issue, uh, by chance, have you or the clerk received copies of the host community agreements? I know the news media has, and they called today, and I said, I, I haven't seen any of them. Yeah, we did. Me you did? We did. Oh, okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Was, it, was it mail? Just to you? I came to the clerk's office. But was, wasn't the question for us, all of us, to get it? Is that what if it was? You, yeah. We're supposed to all get it. 
Well, if you want it, we'll, we'll email it to you tomorrow. Please. Well, it came to you electronically? There are 11 of them, yeah. That's fine. Okay? Thank you. It's 121 pages, so. That's 121 pages? Yeah. Oh, wow. How many? Well, you've got 11, 10 pages. Pieces about 121 pages. So I'll email that to you, uh, whatever your desire is. No, email's fine. Yeah. Fine? There's, there's 11? Mm -hmm. There's 11 now. Oh, they're cloning. Okay. I'll, I'll just put it in the pile. I got it home and I'll get to it at some point. Okay. All right, so we're going to get copies of it. That's fine. All right, okay, so okay. the question on item 21 is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clark, please call the vote. ASAP? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. McCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Ordered in order to fund the agreement between the city and the Brockton City Employees Union regarding a compensation and position reclassification study, hereby recommends that the City Council authorize the appropriation of $73,000 from the Stabilization Fund to various departments as part of the Memorandum of Understanding for the period of 7116 to 63019 between the City of Brockton and the Brockton City Employees Union and Council January 28, 2019. Reading refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Uh, Councilor Yuneri, uh, yes. you were supposed to make uh, an amendment to uh, yes, this particular. Did that get sent down or should have got sent down when the information came down from finance? Did they send it down? Did Aaron send it down? No. She, she should, well, I don't have it in front of me tonight, unfortunately. 17. Yeah, I think, I think on the 73,000, if I can remember correctly, you were adding 121,000 to the Pox um, Commission, I remember. I think it, it probably did come down, but. No, no, did come down. Okay. All right, Council Ianeri, would you like to make an, uh, a motion to amend that particular item? On the $73,000 one? Correct. Uh, the order for $73,000 needs to say planning and economic development for $121. The funds are there invertly, just were left out. Second. This is on the am on the amendment. A motion has been made and properly second. All those in favor of the amendment? Opposed? Okay. Now the question is on the adoption of this item as amended. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Ajax? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the apartment. The order is adopted as amended. Mr. Clark? Mm -hmm. Don't you usually read your little uh, It's everybody through. I've <laughs> just lost my place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's All items of the agenda are available in their entirety for review with the city clerk's office for all interested parties. Ms. Council Allen. You may, sir. I just want to say that my ticket. Uh, Lithuanian um, Heritage Day uh, will be celebrated on March 9th at St. Michael's Parish in Avon. They, they moved up there after St. Casimir's was closed. Uh, mass begins at 4 p.m. and the dinner begins at about 5, 5.15. Uh, so that's March 9th. Um, should, be, should be sad, I believe. Uh, tickets are $15.00. Uh, and you can reach out to uh, John Drzinski uh, to get one. All right, thank you. Mm, Councilor Castro. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor. Personal privilege. You may this evening I had a very troubling call from a Ward 4 constituent, and um, uh, two of them actually. Last night their shed was broken into. They got up this morning and noticed this. They lost a lot of expensive stuff like a generator and a snowblower and things like that, uh, equipment. And so, and when the police came this morning to investigate this, they were told this is happening all over the city. So I would like to caution Ward 4 and all residents of the city, please lock your sheds. 
make sure your cars are locked at night. A lot of cars are being broken into, but some cars people are just walking into because they're not locked at, at night. So please take care of your stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, Council Sullivan. Just want to remind people that uh, members that sit on the ordinance committee we're meeting this Wednesday, which is the 27th of February, 6 p.m. here uh, in the Unknown Auditorium. It's a pretty lengthy agenda, so uh, dig in. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Anyone else? I just want to remind uh, Councillor Darren Court, uh, who wasn't here when I first brought this up, that we will not be having a Finance Committee meeting next week. We will be back uh, for City Council on the 11th. But I also just found out that there might be uh, another problem with the space here on the 11th. So if that's the case, and we are not back at City Hall, then we will probably be meeting at the War Memorial Building for that evening. I was also told by the mayor uh, in this week's meeting that City Hall should be ready by Friday. The elevator should be ready by Friday. And it'll probably take a few more days just to get that inspected. So hopefully by the 11th we, should, we shall be back home to our location and we can get away from that location withdrawal that we've been uh, experiencing. Uh, anything else? Mm -hmm. Having no more, no further business of the people in the city of Brockton, this meeting is. <laughs> <laughs>